Welcome back to another video, guys. This is your man Synergy here, bringing you split second map tutorial update. Now, I'm sorry that I've been busy with IRL related things, and I only hope to actually fully provide as much information in this video as possible. Just to let you guys know ahead of time, we need a non Steam version of the game, the Iron Free, we need roster steering, we need DS Pro for PS4 controller users, and the 60 FPS non patch. We're going to be showing the presentation of it with the 60 FPS mod patch without the DLC. And we're going to be showing the DLC with last of scaling. All of that will be presented in the video right about now. So to get started with the actual video, um, I wanted to be able to explain to you firsthand that the DLC itself does not really work well with the 60F patch. Um, and I'll provide the link in the description for those who actually want to download this uh, again, because I know most of you guys actually did want to try out this particular model have, but uh, just a quick presentation that um, he actually explains that you know the mod can't work with the unlockers which the 60 fps mod is an unlocker and um the best way to really go about it is to kind of separate it but we'll get started with that in the video so first things first you're gonna need a actual uh you know non uh steam version of the game which is here and then what you're going to do is, is you're going to drag this here. And when this is done, we'll go through the particular steps. But the reason why you need a non uh, Steam version of the game is because I tested out all different versions. I even tested the Steam version. The 60 FPS mod does not work. It only works very well with, again, a non Steam version, DRM free version of split second. I know some people use velocity that's kind of different but um now that this is done um we're gonna go over to the folder to make sure everything's there of course you know everything is there and i'm gonna go over to my mods folder go over to 60 fps patch new patcher um the mod stuff will be provided in the description we're gonna open that up and we're gonna look for our split second which obviously is on the desktop i have two split second folders so i'm gonna look for this one and then i'm gonna go and click on split second and then i'm gonna go back to the new patcher this and as you can tell it works so we're gonna leave it like that right but what we're gonna do is is that in order to enhance the game and give it that uh that realism modern touch we're gonna go to reshade right um we're gonna go to reshade we're gonna browse and then we're gonna go to back to desktop back to that same folder and we are going to take uh the patch version and then we're gonna basically click next we're gonna browse and what we're gonna do is is that we're gonna go with the mods preset photo realism download and reshade download click next And then that's it. Now, after that's done, right? What we're gonna do is, is that we're gonna delete this and we're gonna rename this one to just split second, not the patch version, because there's no need for that, right? And then when all of that is done, um, we will open up the game simply right so for first time users it's going to open up the game like this of course um
And then we're gonna skip all of this stuff, of course, because it's not me too. And as you can tell, the 60 FPS mod works. Um, keep in mind that, you know, this will only work, the 60 FPS mod will only work if and if you don't install the community mod. Because once you install the community mod, the 60 FPS patch no longer exists, it no longer works. Um, and uh, just a quick heads up, right? Ahead of time, two things. Number one is that with this preset, if you start to notice any problems, uh, you can work around this preset because sometimes it kind of messes with the picture of the game or um, I don't know, like it kind of makes it to where there's raindrops and stuff like that. All you have to do is press home and take off one of these particular settings, um, which I'm, I'm sure to a degree, it's there's a setting called normal or whatever. But just work around it, you know. Um, try to the, the beauty of the shade is that you actually get to touch up on the game to your liking. This actually makes uh, the game look modern, glossy, and very beautiful. So. That's it for this uh, side of it. And the next side of it that we're going to show is the community mod, but with lossless scaling. Now for the second method of how to be able to do this uh, with lossless scaling. Now, the difference between this one and the 60 FPS patch is that every time you open the game, um, you're gonna have to open up lossless scaling as well too, but if you have a key bind, then that's a different story. Um, so before we actually go through the method of it, I wanted to present to you because a lot of people ask me if you have to pay for lossless scaling. Uh, the truth of the matter is, is that you don't. Um, you can get to go to the website here, download it from here. Uh, I'll show you exactly where to download it. It's right here. Uh, you can pretty much download the, uh, well, there's versions of it on the internet. So like if you wanted to, you could download it, but I know that you don't necessarily have to pay for it or whatever, but basically you need that in order for uh, this other part of the video. So again, we're going to go through the method again, so that way you guys can know. So we're going to open this up. And what we're gonna do is, we're, again, like the last one, we're gonna drag this to the desktop. Um, and when this is done, you know, I'll showcase, you know, me downloading the DLC mod from the Steam community itself, um, which, you know, is a lovely mod. I don't understand why it doesn't work anymore with the 6 uh mod patch because it worked flawlessly before and then a year later it just doesn't work it's just kind of weird to me but anyways it says downloaded and of course everything's going to be in the folder you're going to go and um you're going to click on ss uh, xenon shipping you're going to browse the folder and you're going to find the split second folder it's right here and then you're gonna extract it. Again, just to FYI, uh, the DLC, you get it from here. I'll provide the link in the description. Again, just FYI, um, you get the DLC here. So after that, obviously it disappeared, all the contexts are in that folder. Um, what you're gonna do next is, is that you're gonna open up Reshape and you're going to take the, uh, we're gonna find the folder again, sorry. We're gonna find the folder again. It's this split second folder, boom. Next, DirectX, we're gonna browse. We're gonna find that same exact mods folder. Photo realism, download, reshape, download. Next. Okay. Now, 
before we open up this game, there's something I really want to tell to you to, to all the users that use uh, the PS4 controller, not so much PS4, I'm not sure, but specifically PS4 controller uh, users, right? I want to show you guys something real fast. So before you open up the game, you're going to download something called PS4 for Windows, right? And once this opens, go to settings, keep this on high DS4 controller. The reason for that is because it's actually going to read as either a generic controller or an Xbox controller, right? And I'll show you. Um, I've used this all the time and have no problems, but keep that on. Once you install everything, if you're a first time user for DS4, you're going to have to uh, install the driver bus, X input, all that other stuff, just normal setup stuff. After that's done, and and for every time, if you want control for the menu and for the game, high DS4 uh, controller, make sure that checkbox is on. Um, so before we start up the game, we're gonna open up Lost of Scaling and keep in mind, I am recording, so you won't be able to see me uh, actually using this. But with with this just letting you guys know uh you have settings here this is what's going to make the game 60 fps um i have my hotkey set to control l so what we're going to do with this is that we're going to uh open up the game but before i open up the game i need to make sure that this option is is on the ls uh in my just so that way you guys can see what i'm talking about so Obviously, you can see a black screen, but I'm going to open up the game. And then what I'm going to do is, is that I'm going to use lossless scaling. Just. I have to open it up again just to make sure. Sorry. Because it, it's not responding. Okay. Now I do this. There we go. You yeah. know, if you actually do see it there, um, I don't know if you actually see it on the, the screen right now. I'm assuming you do. Yeah, you do. So I'll go back into it. I'll do it again. Okay, and then as I specifically explained before with the DS4 option, I'm able to move with the D-pad, with the analog stick. Um, this is how you actually play the game with 60 FPS using lossless scaling. Uh, this is, like I said, this is the only other way to be able to play it without the 60 FPS patch and play with the vehicles. So there's two different methods for it, right? Um, again, keep in mind, and I want to just explain and go through the rundown, all right? You need a non-Steam-oriented, DRM-free version of Split Second. You also need uh, the month's uh, new patch for photorealism. I will provide the link to that in the description. Um, you need lossless scaling, and you need DS4 if you are a PlayStation 4 controller user. Um, and that's about it. That's, that's as much as we would go into. And, uh, yeah, man, uh, I hope that this actually was very helpful to you guys. And, um, I'm glad that I was able to create this for you guys. And, um, this is Synergy signing off. And, uh, thank you so much for all the support and all the love. Peace out. A special thanks goes to all of you guys. I just wanted to let you guys know how thankful I am for the recent subscribers to the video or uh, sorry to the channel uh, it really does mean a lot I worked very very hard to get up to you know 1800 uh, subscribers it definitely is a milestone to me I only hope to actually reach 2k someday and whatnot um, I only hope that I actually get the chance to you know reach that milestone but hopefully together with you guys man I hope that this 
you know was actually really helpful for you i know that it could be stressful because we all love split second we felt that this game was actually a polished gem and i feel like everybody should enjoy it in their own ways you know it sucks that the 60 fps mod patch doesn't work well with you know the dlc mod anymore but at the same time you know i'm happy that i'm able to provide this video in depth so that way it can help you guys with getting the best out of the game uh to its liking right um because at the end of the day you know these retro games they're they're dying slowly but surely not dying but you know they're not being appreciated enough you know and i think that split second is one of those games where it was definitely an underrated um racing game and this is an extremely underrated racing game and i feel like it should be acknowledged so you know with that being said much love to you guys i really really appreciate all the support that you guys have given me throughout uh the course of time of you know uploading uh videos and so forth i hope that i've been helpful and i wish to continue to be even more helpful by providing more and more videos as time progresses but this is synergy signing off again um, I hope you guys enjoy the game, and I hope that you all have a wonderful week. Peace out.